Hi everyone and Jumbo, it's Oli. Today I'm gonna to show you how to prepare the Ndizi, one of the signature cocktails of Tui Blue Bahari in Zanzibar. As all Tui Blue signature cocktails are, the Ndizi was created to capture the spirit of the hotel's location and its country. May it be scents, aromas, childhood memories. So anything that takes you on a journey to that faraway holiday destination. If you're new to our channel, feel free to click the notification icon so you don't miss a single one of the upcoming videos. A like is of course appreciated and I do love feedback, so feel free to comment and I'll make sure to reply to each and every one of you. Just before you get confused right now, I am actually not in Zanzibar, but on another beautiful island on Silt in Germany at the Tui Blue Hotel. But I will show you how you can mix this cocktail wherever you are and close your eyes and imagine you're right in Tui Blue Bahari. So Tui Blue Bahari is located on the pristine island of Zanzibar, which is next to Tanzania in the Middle East of Africa. This island is known for its abundance of spices and almost any tropical fruit grows there. When I arrived, of course, I immediately tried to learn the local language and one of the first words I was taught was Ndizi. The bar team told me that Ndizi in Swahili means banana, but saying it puts that great smile on your face. Sort of like the Western word cheese, but way more drinks compatible that way. So everyone will teach you Ndizi once you get your first picture taken with that perfect camera smile. And you will hear Ndizi everywhere and see smiles everywhere. Beautiful, huh? Now at Tui Blue Bahari, many of the ingredients actually grow on the property, so it just does not get fresher than this. And of course, we had to create a drink that used fresh local ingredients. So let's get mixing. The Ndizi is a blended and frozen drink, something that would give you that proper brain freeze even in the African sun. Sort of like a breakfast smoothie with a magical potion added. Rum. We're using a Blendtec blender and if you were to YouTube Blendtec, you'd be able to spend hours watching the hilarious creator of this fine piece of equipment blending everything from marbles to iPhones, which is probably why this thing costs a fortune. But I'm babbling. So even if you don't have a blender at home, in your household for sure there's a hand blender. This works fine. And since we're having such a great time learning different languages in this video, this tool is called a Zauberstab in German, which basically means magic stick. So, in our blender goes in DZ. See, you're catching up already. And we need a little bit of fresh mint. I usually just keep the leaves and I tear off the bottom parts because they tend to make the drink bitter. Next, we need an Esther Ridge full body pot still rum. Best something that is quite funky, which will enhance the fresh banana with flavors of ripe banana as well. Here I'm using Hampton, eight-year-old Jamaican rum, and I'm using 50 ml. Clement orange shrub will just add a touch more fruit with a 40% total madness of oranges, fruit, everything tropical, and I'm adding 10 ml. To balance these flavors as a sweetener, we use sugarcane juice simply because it grows on the property. I can tell you it's quite a lot of fun pressing sugarcane juice, especially in the smoldering heat at noon, during the pouring rain before the bar opens. But as you can see, we never compromise in order to blend up this great tasting drink. If you don't grow sugarcane in your garden, I recommend making your own molasses rich syrup. A good measure would be 500 grams of demerara and 250 grams of water and heat it over low heat until it's dissolved. I'm using 5 ml in this recipe since we don't have any sugarcane here on the island of Silt. But you will need to adjust the measurements according to the sugar type you're using. We're looking for a slightly sweet cocktail with a nice punch from the rum. So let's start blending this with cube ice until it's frozen, rich and creamy. And make sure you carefully tighten your blender because otherwise you will see the smiles of your guests and you'll have your Indizi all over your kitchen. Pour 
turning this into a nice tiki mug. And of course, I'll decorate with some pineapple leaves. And these can remind you of the palm trees right there in Tweed Blue Bahari. And there you have it, and easy. Cheers. Ah, oh, I'm laying in a hammock, wearing a big hat that will allow me to sit in the sun all day. This drink is so rich, so creamy, so full of nice rum flavors. I'm sure this will also put a smile on your face. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give this a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And remember, life is good with a great drink in hand, preferably at your Tui Blue Hotel. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.